what the heck have they thrown on Walmart shelves now? Theme Booster Bundle. We're going to find out if it's actually worth your uh, while to go ahead and get one of these. You guys know I've opened every single edition of these Steam Booster Packs. This one's probably not going to be too different from those. However, there is like a variety. Uh, it looks like you can get any of these four in here. Choose your theme. Uh, theme Booster Bundle includes four randomly assorted Theme Booster Packs from recent Magic sets. Perfect for starting your collection and finding the right theme for you. As I always say with these things. But is the value in this? That is the real question. Total out the door. This was $25.98 at a local Walmart plus tax, which came to $28.06 for four of these. You never know. There could be something real juicy hiding inside. We're going to find out. And as far as double masters go, patrons, boxes are here. Um, I just wanted to take one day, one break away from Double Masters just to mix things up a little bit, you know, and we'll get back to Double Masters openings tomorrow. Have you guys played in any draft with Double Masters is the question. Um, and what have you pulled? Anyone pull some good stuff? Have you opened these theme booster packs before? It looks like this is what we get inside. Now, the question is, is the value going to be here? Ravnica Allegiance, the old Simic, you don't say. So, my opinion off rip of this, let's be honest. Let's call a spade a spade, baby. My opinion, already. They took a bunch of product that was not selling, packaged it, they labeled it, they threw it in this box, and they threw a price tag on it. That's all that's changed. Oh yeah, by the way, Arena, unlock stuff, play Allegiance. That is the only thing they did different with this product. There's nothing new with this product. They just took stuff off the shelf that was not selling, created a box, and that was it. And they threw it in there. Oh, Gross Spiral. I forgot Gross Spiral was a common. Recently banned because it's uh, that good. Just ramps up, you know. So let's see what all we can find in here. So for a bunch of commons. That's right, in the early days, in the early days, <laughs> they would put all the commons up front, if I wasn't mistaken. There's one uncommon. That kind of seems out of place. All right, so, so far, one uncommon out of all this. Oh, Wilderness Reclamation. We got the band deck. <laughs> that was banned recently as well. Any spell that says something like, you can untap all of your lands, like, every single turn, is nuts. Same with Fires of Invention, which cheats cards into play. If you're not paying really anything, or you're getting an excess amount of mana, at a value, at a budget then there's probably something wrong with that, okay? That's just how I look at it. Um, thoughts on the bannings, guys? That's, uh, I'd like to hear those too, but I think the bannings were needed. I think it's healthy that bans occur um, more, more, more often than not, um, instead of like quarterly, how they used to do it or whatever. No, another one of these gross spirals and frilled mystic. Oh, this whole deck I just can't stand. Um, I, I think they're a good thing for magic. It opens the door for different deck ideas it, it creates a more fun <coughs> and uh, adventurous kind of style of play you know we're not not everyone's building the exact same deck you know what wins it dominates once you get to turn four turn five guess what it's over with you know it makes it a little bit more fun and uh that's what we want to do magic's all about fun so now you know all right so this first one <coughs> we got a rare oh man as predicted shapopi we got Growth Chamber Guardian. Maybe if we pay three and adapt it, we can search up another one. Yeah? Nah, that didn't work. All right, so, of course, again, play Allegiance. If you want to get on a Magic Arena, go ahead and do that. It's a lot of fun. So, so far, no good. <clears throat> What's inside this other Ravnica Allegiance? We could pull a Shockland, and that would shock everybody. And this whole video could change around really fast. There's also, like, a, a website. You got to Google it or something, but... You can find a lot of different uh, different codes for Arena. There's like 30 or so you can plug in. If anyone knows where that's at, just let me know. Uh, Orzov Guildgate, there you go. But I've gone on it before for friends and showed them. I just don't have the link available. Angel, okay. So what else? What else? Yeah, what else? Go Spiral and Wreck. Yeah, you had to get out of here. Same with Cat. It just makes it really boring. That's all, that's all it is. You know, It's not like it's overly powering, which it kind of it is, though. But uh, it eliminates those decks, basically. You know, they're still ramping the format. It's not like ramp on anywhere. But the best ramp cards, you know, or the, the, one of the best ramp cards, Grow Spiral, is now gone. So it makes it a little more difficult to accelerate your mana. 
that's all it is. Plague White. All right, anything good here? Or we just got freaking hose like normal. Probably the old hosiery, I would imagine. We got Mortify. More Mortify. That's not a bad uncommon. Destroy target creature enchantment. If that thing said artifact on it, watch out, man. But it's not in the color, so it's not a not a possibility. Got the old Pontiff, the Breather, and a little more Guild Mage. All right, anything good here? Can we crack something nice? Screaming Shield. Meh! No. Okay, th th this is how I feel opening this product. Let me spend money so you don't have to. That's how these go. I really enjoy this card. Um, when Hunt, uh, when Hunt enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card and you gain three life. I think that's pretty cool. It's a fun little, fun little card. Oh, we did pull the Otoithy! Otoithy showing up! Where's my bell, Jackson? Uh, we did pull the Otoithy. Not bad. Uh, so that helped, uh, get some value back for sure. Much, much needed. And, uh, nothing in the back. All right, so there you have it. On to the next one. On to the next one. Celestia Theme Booster. Can we pull out the money in the Celestia Booster? One way to find out. All right. So, for all four, what's the average price we're looking at? I'm sure I'll throw it on the screen. Probably what, like... Seven, it's about seven dollars roughly because it's like twenty eight dollars. So you know, seven dollars and some change. Seven times four is twenty eight, uh, and some change. So, yeah, they're asking about seven bucks, which is I think only a slight discount, if anything. Uh, well, actually, no, because it's twenty five before, um, before taxes. So really, eh, they're like six dollars something, six dollars and a quarter each. You could say. So the price did come down. That's because they're not selling them. So they just threw it up here. Honestly, no. Don't buy this. Do not buy this. I'll say it right now. Do not buy this from my experience. Um, I, the, I don't see a reason why you would want to buy this. Unless you have no way to access any magic cards in your community, in your city. There's no local game store. There's nothing to go. There's no other product on the shelf. Then yeah, and if you're bored out of your mind or a brand new player, then go ahead and throw some money at it. But they did these packs wrong. They should have had two rares or two mythics, you know, in each one, uh, or at least a chance, you know, like a rare and a mythic. It's like every, I want to say like every like four or five of these theme packs, there's a double uh, rare slot. Now they could have just increased that, you know, maybe every other or something, but then people would be weighing stuff and. Yeah, people, God, who weighs things, you know, like those cubes? Whoever started weighing those cubes, man, what a freaking rascal. Uh, Celestia Halakit, the Peacemaker. Gotta appreciate the art, though, my friends. Gotta appreciate the art. And for our rare, whoa, Dawn of Hope. All right, still a cool card. Value-wise, what's that, like three bucks now? They used to be like 50 cents. So Dawn of Hope has since gone up. Not too shabby. No... No double, no double rare in this one either. All right, so maybe the guys who were even selling these took all the ones with double uh, rare mythic slot out of the equation and threw this on the shelf. Oh, that's terrible. War of the Spark. Let's go back in time a little bit. Was this three years ago? Man, time flies, guys. I will tell you what, time certainly flies, man. Make the best of it. Teo, all up in here. All right, anything crazy? Oh, we got another little Planeswalker. Pretty cool. Always fun to see all the Planeswalkers. Emergent zone, not bad. And you cannot even pull uh, a rare or uh, uh, a foil out of this. You cannot pull a foil out of this. Who are they fooling, Wizards? Wizards, who are you trying to fool, man? Four Charm Strays. There you go. A playset inside of one of these of a card. Who would have thought? Rising Populace. I always thought this could have been a cool card, but nah, it's, it's not. Makeshift Battalion. That sees a tiny bit of play here and there, but not really much. Great for Apparition. Fun for the Proliferates, you know. That's not too shabby. Another makeshift battalion. All right. Pegasus. Angus. Anyone make a Pegasus deck? I made a Pegasus deck. It's terrible. Um, yeah. Maybe uh, I can try a different approach, but yeah. Tried it out. It's terrible. I guess just for fun, maybe I'll uh, try to do it one more time. Have at it. But no, it's just bad. God Pharaoh. One of these. Double Striker. The Wings. A great card. She's a lot of players. Always flash. And we got the promotion. What else? Divine Arrow. Topple the statue. This card should be banned. It's just that good. Tap target permanent. If it's an artifact, destroy it. Draw a card. I don't know what they were thinking printing that. Gideon's Triumph. We're on to the goodies. What can we get? Finale of Glory. Got a mythic. Haru. 
this card down the road, yeah, man, you're probably going to be like a $10 card. Just kidding. Maybe like 8 But really, really cool, especially if you can ramp up into it, get a crap ton of angels out. That's dirty. So Finale of Glory got a Mythic. Not bad at all. All right. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I already know what your thoughts are. They're probably the same as mine. Do not buy this crap. I just do it so you guys don't have to. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't hit the like button. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to see this channel grow? Don't share this video with anybody. Don't tell anyone about it. Skadoosh.